Our youth are being forced into classrooms that are overcrowded, uh, not enough desks, no books, no papers, and they're being put in danger as they ride through unfamiliar and unsafe neighborhoods on a daily basis to get to schools because of the lack of transportation that's being cut and other things in the city. So we feel that Philadelphia children deserve better. Here I am once again, I think I'm gonna give you another chance now. Everybody's looking around Trying to figure out why we ain't slow it down Do you think we can monitor our speed? But I can't keep on ignoring your timing You're never in sync with my heartbeat, no If you think you can keep up with me Because here is a fact. If you're not reading at grade level by third or fourth grade, unfortunately, you will struggle through middle school. You might show up for ninth grade in high school. You will struggle through 10th grade, and you are most likely to drop out of high school because you weren't reading at grade level in third grade. And it is not a myth, it is a fact that in private industry, especially in the prison industrial complex, they do, especially for boys, look at third grade reading and math test scores to figure out how many more cells they need to build 10 years from now. That is a fact, that is true. So you're either going to the state pen or you're going to Penn State. You decide how you want your tax dollars to be spent. So, you know, it's a little hard for me to talk about what it means when we talk a bit about being college and career ready, because we need to talk about what it means to make not just our students and our staff accountable, but what we're talking about as a nation in terms of making our schools accountable to the students and the families which they serve. As a senior at Central High School, I am most affected by the budget cuts of the city of Philadelphia, and personally, um, it's tough. Um, I go to a school with over 2,000 kids, and we have two counselors. So, and 1,500 of those kids aren't going to college. So you can only imagine how stressed my counselor, my counselor is when I come to her and I'm asking her for help about the college process. Our STEM pipeline, get kids into STEM, get them, get them excited about learning math and science in the same way that they get excited and we salute them if they hit a jump shot or if they score a touchdown. How can we get these, this young man right here interested and cultivate his gift in math and science? How do we build that STEM pipeline here in the city of Philadelphia? I think um, in particular it is teaching practical education. So making education tangible in a sense that people understand it um, 
whether it's doing experiments or what have you, um, I, you know, I've always, I've never done it, but I've always wanted to be the kid that built the, the volcano and made it, you know, made the lava come out like you see on TV. I think that that's a fun way to engage students in science. I was someone who was very engaged in science. Um, I took a lot of extra science courses in high school, and I think that the thing that always interested me was just seeing how it how it applied in real life. Um, so I think that that's one of the ways um, that we can, you know, ensure that students get in, engaged in the STEM fields. Um, I also think that there's another letter that's that's hanging out there that a lot of people are starting to talk about more, and that's the A. So taking STEM and turning it into STEAM, and the A is really for the arts and thinking about arts, and, and we're talking here about how art has just been cut out of the equation, but it is important to instill the arts in back into our education system. Um, I think that it enriches students' educational experiences. Um, I have a cousin here who's a singer, and she, you know, we were talking about how math sort of relates to arts, and she was talking about counting musical notes. So thinking about education in a way that may be different from, again, thinking and teaching for the test. I think we have to instill in people that you can be good at anything, and we have to, you know, instill them and empower them to, to be good. And we are also going to do a test model on my MSNBC show about education. And the city I'm going to focus on is Philadelphia, the whole world. The whole world needs to know in the city of brotherly love, where y'all got Rocky running up and down them steps. <laughs> that they are building jails and closing schools. They need to know. Whole world need to know that y'all have unelected officials that have destabilized the future of this city. They need to know in the city that we wrote the original Constitution and the Bill of Rights, children's right to an education is being robbed. We're going to take the veil off of the city. You will not hide. I want you to stand butt naked in front of the world and let the world see what you're doing to the children in Philadelphia. Thank you and God bless you.